One of the best upgrades the Mini 4 Pro has had over the Mini 3 Pro has been Active Track. But before we do the advanced Active Track, we're going to change a couple of settings. And um, first, we just need to get the drone in the air. Now, if you go to the top three buttons, and then we go along to control. If you just come down, you'll see subject scanning. So just click that. You'll see it's put a plus icon around me. And as you can see, with all those people moving through, we've got that active track is looking for all those different people, putting little green boxes around any of them. So I could click any of those like so, and it'll just track that one person. Thing you'll notice is each time you fire up uh, the drone that you'll need to click that subject scanning on if you want to use it. Next, if you go down to focus tracking settings, and we're going to look at this in more detail, and you can see we've got person and vehicle. So if we're tracking a vehicle, we've got some different adjustments there where we can go normal or fast camera action. And we'll come back to that later, but when we go back to person, you can see you've got inner and outer circle settings. So you can see the inner radius is five meters and the outer radius is 10 meters. And we have an inner height and an outer height, two meters and five meters. So we'll just use that at the moment, then we'll adjust that and just look at the differences there. As you can see, there's the green cross around me and I just click on that and I'm gonna to go to active track and I'm gonna click go just to bring up options here. So as you can see, I've now got that dial with the inner and outer circle. And we've just used the inner circle. So as you can see, it's just tracking round at that same height. Back to our active track, hit go, brings up our selector. So I'm just gonna take the height up and I'm going to go from the inner circle to the outer circle in front of me and you will see the drone move around and rise up. Now we can change this so let's have the outer circle. That's 13 meters and it's moving up because it already thinks it's in the outer circle. Inner circle at two meters. And we're gonna increase the outer circle to also 30 meters, like using the one one rule. And there you have it. It's gone from the outer circle to the inner circle straight in front of me and just dropped down to my height. Now from that point, I'm gonna go from the inner circle to the outer circle and it should move away and up. And it's done that quite su successfully. It thinks it's behind me. So let's see if we can say, I'm facing you, right? This is my inner circle. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna take it round, 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 and up. Let's see how that works. I'm not gonna turn around because otherwise it realizes I'm in the wrong place. But as you can see, it's moving around away from me and upwards. And that's really nice. The cinematic opportunities you've got there are incredible. So while it's performing the maneuver, you can change the parameters with the elevation and distance from you, but it kind of pauses the motion. So you lose that smoothness, but you can adjust it as you go through it. So now in the active track mode, we're just going to do parallel. And as you can see, as I walk along, the drone is just tracking me to the side. 
So you'll notice in parallel mode, I can adjust the controls to move the drone further away from me and uh, change its height and it still kept that parallel motion going. So we do spotlight mode. So there's two ways we can use it. First is it'll just keep the subject in the center of the frame as I fly the drone around. So we just do that first. The other way of using this is as a tripod in the sky. So I'll put the drone directly above me and I'm just going to walk off and we'll watch the drone follow me. Point of interest is quite nice because we'll select ourselves, the direction and the speed, and then I'm hands free to do whatever I want and just walk around and it'll just gently keep moving in the direction I've asked it to do. Hit point of interest. It's already got us selected. And you can see I can do slow or fast. I'm sliding that to the right. Now I'm looking at the drone so it'll go off to the left. So I'll do that fast. You can just see how that works. Buzzes around me. It's really nice. <laughs> oh, it's bright up there. And it'll just keep going. Now we'll do it again. Let's go in the opposite direction and we'll just do it nice and slowly so we can look at what that's like. And this is cool. This is a little more cinematic. Really nice if I were to talk to the drone or we'll use the drone as my other camera and it's just easing around me. Gives you a chance to look at this beautiful view. So again, I could adjust the speed that it's moving around and the height and distance from me, but it kind of pauses while it's doing that. Although when I'm continuing the direction and increasing the speed, it kept that movement going nicely, then just reverted back to the speed it was originally set to. The next type of tracking you can use is a location. So you can take an object on the ground that's not a person, car, etc., and use that as the point of interest or something to um, move around. Often doing this can be great because it can be a lot smoother because it's not trying to find a subject. It's just taking a GPS spot in the ground that is moving around. So it can often be nice and smooth. We're just going to see how good the obstacle avoidance is while it's tracking me as I walk underneath this tree. There's uh, quite a few leaves have dropped. There's quite a few thin branches. So it'll be quite interesting to see how well it responds. So just going to trace me from behind. OK. Nice and smooth so far. Oh, I don't know, I think this test is a little too easy for it. So I'm just going to use this large tree behind me here to see how well it tracks me in parallel when I move behind objects. Active track, let's go. Parallel. And then let's just walk along. Oh, I did that beautifully. Avoiding trees and pillars and posts. So trace when you position it on the right hand side. Seems to work. Like very similar to parallel. It's 
So one of the other features for tracking is to be able to track vehicles and to control how it interacts with that. So again, if we go up to the three dots at the top, By default, it'd be on person. And we looked at how we can alter the outer and inner circle and the parameters around that. But if we go across to vehicle, we've now got some parameters here. And whether we just want it to be at a, a normal speed or a fast speed with the camera motion. So let's just put this at normal for the moment and it's gonna track from behind. recognized it quite happily as a vehicle so we're just going to go around the block i won't go too fast because i've got a spotter and i don't want them to lose visual sight and we can see the drone's just dropped in behind doing quite a nice job here And then we can see if we can give the a bit more distance from us. And indeed we can change the height. And it seems to be tracking quite nicely. Going around the corner, will it keep track of me? So now we do fast, so now it will change direction around obstacles a little quicker. This should now move around to the right hand side. I don't see it doing it. Oh, now it is. I'm gonna turn left, will it keep to my right hand side? in behind me and yeah it's trying to pick up and now let's see if I can move this in front of me Will it take long to do it struggling to find me should be in front. And it's not really. I'm going to try and get around the front now. Okay. Took its time doing that. This is something the Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro wouldn't do, so let's just see how well it does this. Active track. Click go, wanted to be in front. Yeah. And let's just see how well. Those houses just behind it, it should veer off slightly. Oh no, that was about a foot from a lamppost. Right, because it's changing direction very fast, let's put it back to normal. It's almost throwing itself into other objects.
that's too scary for me. So I'm just going to cancel that. Well, I think as you can see from all that testing, the possibilities with the Mini 4 Pro is endless. I think the fun you can have with this now, with that security of the sideways obstacle avoidance and with that new advanced way of using the active track, I think you can have so much fun. It takes a little bit of playing with an experimentation, but it just lends itself to loads of possibilities. So share in the comments uh, what you've tried out, what you've learned, and if you've got any questions, things you're not sure about, do let me know. If you want to watch any other videos on the Mini 4 Pro, we've got a playlist here. Please show me the love and subscribe to the channel by clicking here, and I'll hopefully see you over there.